What's going on? Um, so my brother, he, uh, he's on the loose right now, and he threatened to kill his girlfriend a couple days ago. He just showed up at my house. What you just heard is a glimpse of some of the harrowing moments leading up to a fugitive holding a Davis County family hostage for nine hours earlier this month. It followed an hours long manhunt across several cities and ended with police killing the suspect. Fox 13's Haley Higgins has the story you will only see here. Um, I need the cops here ASAP. Surveillance video shows Joseph Manhard walking to his brother's Clearfield home on September 9th. He has a firearm on him and he is armed. Joseph's brother calls 911, extremely concerned after Joseph allegedly kidnapped his ex-girlfriend at gunpoint the day before. He's trying to get in. He's trying to get in? Yes. Okay, make sure everything's locked. Yeah. I will. Clearfield officers with assault rifles clear the house and a back shed. Police, anyone in there? Manhard is nowhere to be found. Probably drove by one of us. Twelve hours later, he's back at his brother's house at 1.30 a.m. He's walking around no front. They're on their way. We've got even a dog coming because we really want to catch him. Ten minutes later. Called 911. Another call to 911 from Utility Trailer Manufacturing. I just had a lady walk in the front door, said her car was stolen and she was shot at. What kind she of car? Blood on what? her. Police say Manhard shot through the woman's window when she refused to hand over the car. But I don't want to leave her side. I'm not sure right. how badly she's injured. Okay. She's hysterical. Oh. I just want to make sure she's sure. not going to bleed out on the unit. The woman appears to be okay in this police body cam. <laughs> Telling officers she's worried about her car that Manhard used to lead police on a chase south on I-15. Across town, police talk with Manhard's brother. We're in pursuit right now. That pursuit ended with police spiking the tires of the stolen car. Coming up to 700 now. I'm not seeing him yet. Police say Manhard ran into a Farmington neighborhood and held a family hostage for nine hours before he was shot and killed by police. The mother of the family that was held hostage has posted on social media that she is thankful for law enforcement and credits them for saving their lives. Reporting in Clearfield, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.